Wisconsin's race for governor, one of the nation's most watched this year with top political prognosticators rating it a toss up. Today on Upfront, we're talking one final time with the candidates for governor. We just heard from Republican Scott Walker. Now we're turning to Democrat Tony Evers, also joining us from WAOW TV in Wausau. Superintendent Evers, good to have you with us today. And I'll begin with the same question I asked the governor. And that is uh, to make your closing argument to the people of Wisconsin briefly and succinctly. Why do you think you're the better candidate in this race? Well, certainly after eight years of uh, divide and conquer, uh, what I bring to the table is uh, someone that has learned easily across living across the state that what unites us is much, much bigger than what divides us. And I'm going to work hard to find common ground to make sure that those important issues that we've talked about in this campaign, we actually attack and take and take care of those issues for the people of Wisconsin, bringing people together, finding common ground. People in Wisconsin are tired, tired of the polarization, and we're going to change that going forward. One of the things you and other Democrats have been talking a lot about lately is coverage of pre-existing conditions. If Obamacare goes away, for instance, what would happen to people in this state? I talked with the governor about that this morning, and he says he's been talking about guaranteeing coverage of pre-existing conditions, been talking about it for some time, and frankly, he suggested that Democrats are trying to scare people at this point in the campaign. What's your response to that? Well, he's been talking about it all right, but uh, uh, he's been talking about it out of both sides of his mouth. Uh, he talks about it in one way that he's going to solve this problem, and then he's in federal court to get rid of the Affordable Care Act along with those uh, protections for pre-existing conditions. So I know he's been talking about it, but it's been, it's been extremely inconsistent. I'd, and I'd say, uh, I'd say he's lying to the people of Wisconsin. We, there's only one way we can do this. And making, if, he, if he really wanted to do this, he'd drop out of that lawsuit that he's work, working hard to gut uh, the entire Affordable Care Act along with those pre-existing conditions. As governor, I'll make that guarantee. The governor also says uh, that you're going to raise taxes, but that you just won't say you're going to raise taxes. And my question is, why shouldn't people have a clear idea of what taxes you might raise and why when they go to the voting booth? I'm planning on raising no taxes, and, and Scott Walker, you know, he said I'd, I'd laughable that he's that I'm going to raise gas tax a dollar an hour. But for crying out loud, Mike, I wouldn't vote for myself if that was the case. We're not. We're around the issue of transportation. Sure, Scott Walker has raised taxes. He, pe people are now have wheel taxes in the state that never had it before because we don't have a coherent transportation policy. We're going to bring people together and find a solution to it. In addition, we're actually going to be cutting back on uh, middle class income taxes in the state of Wisconsin. 10% for anybody that is earning $100,000 a year or less. So the, the idea that somehow uh, he's put me in this position of saying I'm going to tax, that's just crazy. I've never said it. We're going to be working on making sure the middle class of the state of Wisconsin is protected with a tax cut. You spend a lot of time, though, talking about Scott holes, the potholes, and the condition of state's roads. I mean, how do you repair the state's roads if you don't raise taxes? Well, Mike, the, I'm an educator, and I know that when you bring people together to solve a problem, you don't come in and say, oh, by the way, I've solved it. Would you please agree to it? We're going to bring together Republicans and Democrats and others that have, a, have an interest in making sure our roads are safe. You know, it's one thing to say potholes, but frankly, there are places where it's not safe, and our bridges are a good place to start. We will bring people together with no preconditions at all. That's how you bring people together. Instead of dividing people against each other before you start, you need to have a, a blank slate. We need to have a coherent uh, 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 transportation policy in the state of Wisconsin. It's going to take a lot of work. We're going to get it done. Um, let me ask you about a, a, a priority of yours, and that is you said you want to increase spending on K through 12 education by about 1.4 billion dollars. How would you pay for that? Well, first of all, as you may know, the tax the tax levy credit in the state of Wisconsin is a huge part of that that equation. And we're going to put it instead of having instead of forcing school districts to raise the tax le or tax uh, levy to cover that, we're just going to give it to them directly. It's it's always been counted as state aid, and we're going to actually give it to them directly in state aid. There will be there will be no property tax increase because of the fair funding plan. Of course, you know. It's also always been about priorities. Every time we do a state budget, it's about priorities. 
and we, we found out just a few weeks ago that uh, uh, it's a priority to have uh, billions of dollars for Foxconn. They, they did it, it happened. But in, the, in case of schools, we're going to make sure that there will be no property tax increases because of my budget. The governor and his allies have been hitting you hard on this issue of plagiarism. I know you've talked about this in the past, but they're saying that, you know, parts of state budgets that you propose or education budgets for the state budget that you propose uh, contain uh, um, uh, parts of uh, information that are not attributed, that there, there's not credit given to where that idea came from. Um, do you think this has hurt uh, the way people view your leadership, your ethics? Do you think it's been damaging? No, not, a, not at all. It's, it's his way of diverting people's attention from his poor record in education and poor record in lots of other areas. Yes, we did not have some citations on the back page of a, of a large budget document. We've talked to the people that were involved in that. We understand that made it, they, they made a mistake. We, we talked to them, they understand they made it, and they've had, got the training going forward to make sure they don't do it again, and we made the changes. We move on. The, the, the issue around this campaign isn't about those citations. It's about making sure that we return money to the, our public schools that Scott Walker took away eight years ago when he took $800 million out of the system. So you don't think it reflects negatively on you at all? Well, certainly, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. There weren't some citations on the back page of a large budget. We put those uh, those citations in there, and the people received the training so it doesn't happen again. No, I don't think it reflects poorly. I think it reflects poorly on the governor that he continues to talk about this in the, instead of the fact that he took $820 million out of, this, out, of the, out of the school funding system. I want to talk to you about something that, that is possible. If, if you win, it is possible you could be working working with a Republican-controlled legislature. You could have a Republican Assembly, a Republican Senate. Um, how would you get things done? How would you get your policy proposals well, enacted uh, without there being gridlock for the next few years? Because the pe first of all, you asked me about the, the, the closing argument. It is that. It's my, my, my goal has is, is always been, as an educator or any other job I've had, is to find common ground. The people of Wisconsin expect us to solve problems. I'm a pragmatist. We will work together. I have in the past. I've worked together with Republicans and Democrats on education issues, and we'll do it again. I know that the hyperbole that goes along with a race kind of drives people apart, but at the end of the day, Republicans want a good, Repub uh, a good education system as much as Democrats. The same thing about roads, same thing about health care. We will find common ground without the political uh, fight infighting that happens all the time. People of Wisconsin expect more from us. Uh, final question, uh, how close do you think this race is? And, and it's interesting, uh, we caught up with both you and Governor Walker in Wausau today. Uh, how important is that, that part of the state uh, to your campaign? Well, for every part of the state is important. The central part, of, north central part of the state is as important as well as any other place. We were in Superior and Ashland last night, so we we are traveling all over the state of Wisconsin. It is a close race. It's a very close race. The polls have always been almost within the margin of error or within the margin of an error. So this is about getting people out to vote, and we believe we're in a good position because we're, we're talking about the things that are Wisconsin values, and that is critically important to the people. They want to see solutions, and that's what we're going to provide. Tony Evers is the uh, Wisconsin school superintendent. He is also the Democratic candidate for governor. Thanks very much for your time today. We appreciate it. Thanks, Mike. Coming up next on Upfront, a divide so wide, pollsters have never seen anything like it. And in our next half hour, the race for U.S. Senate did a tough primary hurt Republican candidate Leah Vukmir.